Hey guys, Patrice here with another video. This time this is uh, my empties. Um, it is June 20th. It's been a few weeks, three weeks probably. Um, but my basket was getting full and I just wanted, wanted to get through it. So um, I just wanted to touch on this. Like it's not an empty, but um, I've had this for a little bit, this mini band diffuser. And I know people talk about like pods and stuff and vehicles and... Anyways, I just, I decided to break this out and use it, and it works pretty well. I got Amazon Rain right now. Um, I'm going to keep that going and try it. So, um, I've been work. I worked on, a, I put this in one, I put half of one in my son's bedroom, and then I put two cubes downstairs. I don't like this. My boyfriend commented on how much he didn't like it. The room he sleeps in is downstairs. He shut the door because of how much he didn't like this. Um, so I'm just going to give this to my sister or my mom, whoever wants it. N nobody in the house really likes it. So, um, yeah, it's just too cinnamon for me. So just want to touch on that. It's a really good performer. It's really strong, of course, but... Um, some, there's a few from the non wax melt challenge I'll touch on. The first one here is, they're all Scentsy by the way, except for one. So a blue agave melon, blue agave, honeydew melon, and kiwi. When this first came out, I loved it. And then I didn't like it. And now I'm swinging back onto the, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I just was craving something like bright and fresh and clean or not clean, but like fruity or whatever I guess this is a weird one but this per good performer I enjoyed it um best berry strawberry raspberry sponge sugar this is just a very perfumey berry I find um kind of sugar like leaning um but I prefer sugar and this was just like a light to medium performance so I wouldn't repurchase that one lucky in love uh mandarin bergamot orange peaches and berries this one's nice, very juvenile kind of perfumey scent. It's nice. It's a good performer though. So if this came back, I'd probably maybe pick up one, but not a club. Um, and I don't have the scent notes for some reason on this one. Very blessed. This one has that weird note I don't care for. It's kind of growing on me a little bit, but yeah, this is what I replaced um, the vanilla, vanilla cinnamon maple for just to kind of clear the air, I guess. So. And I wouldn't repurchase that one. Okay, so the rest is the melting challenge. So day one, melted outdoors scent. And I went with Rio Beach, coconut milk, tropical fruit, tonka bean. I really enjoy this one. Um, I did have it in my club and then I took it out. I just can't have everything in my club, but if this one came back. Again, I would pick up more. I really enjoy it. That coconut milk I'm starting to get really more of. It's just a very nice perfumey kind of coconut scent to my nose. So really enjoyed that one. A good performer. Day two, melt a uh, color of the rainbow. And I went with sweet plum pastry. It was purple. Again, I don't have the scent, scent notes for whatever reason. Uh, I love this one. Everyone loves this one. I don't need to speak on it. Great performer. Day three, mix a fruity scent with a bakery scent, and I did birthday wishes, which is rainbow sugar, sprinkles, cake batter, whipped vanilla with sugared strawberry, strawberries, currant, and lemons. Um, This was my only bar of birthday wishes, and I kind of wish I didn't mix it with this because I don't really care for sugared strawberry more, that currant in it, and it kind of overtook the birthday wishes and made me just not care for the mix so unfortunately I kind of this was my only one and I kind of wasted it but that's what I got through strong strong performer though um day four melt a love or club scent um I did caramel sugar cookie creamy caramel vanilla bean sugar my boyfriend hates this one he didn't want that he made me take it out as well um and the more I warm it the less I love it too I'm going to keep it in my club for right now and warm a couple more. But this time I warmed it, I just wasn't as in love with it as I was in the past. So this one ended up might coming out. And this was one of my OG scents. I think this came out the same time Blizzard Fairy did maybe. Or right around there. Day five, melt a musk scent. Um, 
I do that with strawberry rose, strawberries, rose petals, and sheer musk. This one is not my favorite. It is a very fake strawberry scent. I know some people love it, but I don't at all. So, not a repurchase. Day six. Melts a scent that makes you think of a movie. I went with Angel Experiment 624 from Stit Lilo and Stitch. Or, is it the second one? Goji Berry, Blackberry, Vanilla Cream, Sugar Cane. This is just a, like, a fruity, adolescent... Uh, kind of perfumey scent. Sorry, my cat's going crazy in there. And I'm kind of burnt and I'm really tired. I have to go to work in an hour, so I just wanted to bang this out while everyone was gone again. I get to go to work a little bit later. Um, not a repurchase. I know people love this one. It's just not for me. Day seven, melted donut or ice cream scent. I went with uh, tangerine creamsicle. Icy Tangerine, Mango and Vanilla Cream. I guess it's not really an ice cream scent. It's kind of, but the name does. I like this one. I like this one more and more every time I warm it, actually. So, yeah, it's just a really nice, it definitely gets some of that mango, but that tangerine and the, it's just really good and a pretty good performer. Not like a standout performer, like a medium in a, like a medium room, but nice. Day eight, melted aquatic scent. I want hibiscus water, apple hibiscus mineral water. Water. Ah, uh, yeah, it's hibiscus. I don't like hibiscus. When this first came out, I loved this too, but hibiscus, I just don't like anymore. Anything with hibiscus in it just turns my nose. It's just not my favorite scent note, so not a repurchase. Day nine, melted kids scent. I went with totally mini. Pink Melon, Hibiscus Blooms, and Juicy Apple again with Hibiscus. But this one was a little bit nicer. That melon and apple really, really like overpowered that Hibiscus. The Hibiscus just made it a little perfumey. Yeah, this one was okay. Not a favorite, not a repurchase. Day 10, I melted a Brita's actually. This is one of my last um, vendor waxes besides a loaf. Um, Brita's Twist. The Wonderland, Teen Cakes, Lemon Curd, Blackberry. Love this one. One of my favorite scents. Vendor Wax scents, especially from her. I know, like, uh, Teen Cakes and me have a love-hate relationship, but that one was good. Day 11, Melted Watermelon scent. I went with Watermelon Tangerine. Watermelon, Tangerine, Dewy Greens. I hated Watermelon for the longest time, but it's really growing on me. This is not my favorite Watermelon scent. Um, I don't know if it turned or whatever, because it's four years old but this isn't my favorite but I'm starting to grow on watermelon so day 12 melt an orange wax and I went with oodles of orange pineapple papaya mango blossoms and tropical berries this one's growing on me as well like my nose is doing like a 180 guys or 360 whatever you say it um, this one's growing on me. I didn't like this the last time I warmed it. I enjoyed it more. Maybe it's just I am starting to, like, I have to melt seasonally. So, a good performer. Day 13, Melted Garden Wax. I went with Lemon Thyme Berries. I was thinking, like, Herb Garden. Sparkling Lemonade, Strawberry, and Crushed Thyme. I love this one. If this comes back, I'll pick up more of this. It's just very clean, fresh, with being just different it's not like cleaner it's just like bright and uplifting and um invigorating i love it day 14 melt the scent that makes you think of a desert and i went with aloe water and cucumber aloe water cucumber peel palm frond pineapple nectar i warmed this i love this so much i i love this in laundry but I think wax is my favorite. I know in the cleaning I bought a bunch and I was just like, you know what? I ended up selling it because it just wasn't like a love in the cleaning because I loved it so much in laundry. But I really think I love it in wax more than anything. It's performed so well. And every time I went downstairs, this was going and I just like was like, this is the best scent. So day 15, melt a wedding style scent. I went with simply vanilla, fresh vanilla, coconut milk. This is just timeless to me um i don't care for this van simply vanilla as much as vanilla waves simply vanilla to me has like a waxy note to it like 
yeah, pencil shaving waxy note to it. So not a love, but it's a timeless scent. Like a vanilla to me is timeless. If I was to get married, that's a scent I would wear, like a vanilla. Day 16, Melt and Manly scent, and I went with Derek Harbor. This one's coming back in July. Kefir Lime, Blue Green Mint, Ocean Lavender, and Amber. I love this one. This is probably going in my club, I think. Um, that or I should just stock up on some, but I'm trying to save for a trip to Toronto right now, so I'm kind of getting low on money, so it might be just easier. I know it's more expensive to throw in your club, but anyways, I don't know. I love this one. It is a great performer. Um, yeah, it's either a club or a stock up scent for me. Day 17. I'm not going to talk about this too much because... I have, it's, this will be on my next melting basket, I have been doing maraschino sugar cookie. I love this brick. I love the scent. I have this in my club. Um, but yeah, this will be in my next melting basket because I'm going to try to finish this. Um, so I won't discuss too much on it because I don't want to like re-repeat. Day 18. Melted yellow wax. I went with pineapple on fuego. Pineapple nectar, sugar cane, and dash of sriracha. I get no sriracha. I just get a really nice sugary pineapple. Again, hated pineapple, but this is growing on me. I am turning into a summer love or summer wax lover. So, um, day nineteen, melt a spring scent. I didn't have a typical spring scent like a floral or anything, so I went with mythical journey, black current, autumnal pear, salty ocean waves. This. This is a Tomo pear, but this is just a very salty, kind of fresh um, air scent uh, with a little bit of fruit in it. So it was, I felt it was kind of fitting. So there's that. And it performed medium. I don't think I'd pick up more, but it was nice. And last is today, June 20th, Melted Summer Scent. And I don't have the scent notes. I went with Skinny Dipping. I know everyone loves skinny dipping. I don't. Melanin wax is not my favorite. It's just very sharp to my nose. But I know people love this. And it was. But it was light to medium for me. But that could be because it was. Um, I was late. Like it, I held on to it too long. So anyways guys. That is my empties. I know it was kind of rushed. But I'm just trying to get through it. To get it done before I go to work. I have been. I just haven't had time to do it. So, yeah, I haven't decided yet if I'm doing the July melting challenge yet or whether I am just doing, uh, use up what I can, but we will see. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.